old girl in here. I don't know, it's like Monday. July the 12th, I think. Anyway, Saturday. I finally got hooked up to the old bush hog. Figured about time to get out here and clip some of these pastures off. They're drying the weeds. And uh, of course this pasture here, there's a couple places that had them old red-rooted briar weeds in there. Pig weeds or whatever you call them. Red-rooted briars. Or you can go up and a calf could hide in them. A calf could hide in them. And you wouldn't see him. But anyway, this is out by the road. I'm going to knock this down so I can see the calves here. Because I did have a new calf born here last week. Did a little calf born here last week. And you couldn't find him in here after he laid down. But look across there, the cornfield across here by me. That corn looks good right there. That corn, it looks pretty even all the way across. That stuff jumped out and tasseled about the 1st of July. So it's all tasseled now. But it needs ring. I can see the all along the edge there. Some of the leaves are curled up. Some of the leaves are curled up where it needs rain. But this pasture here, like I said, don't have a whole lot of them old weird rooted briars in it. I'm going to get them knocked down so I can go back there to the field back on the hill. It's got a whole lot of them back there. But anyway, we got a we got a little bit of rain here in the last week, but we need a whole lot more. The sky is beautiful. turn this thing on a little later if I think of it. When you get in and get busy you forget about pull on pulling the camera out. Anyway when I pull it out it takes me 10 minutes to be able to get the get the thing working even get my eye on the thing. Old garland here. There's three calves out here. A little brown one here. I don't know anybody that watched my videos. Anybody that watched my videos, that little brown calf there, about two months ago or whatever, he was a little brown calf that I tagged out here one day. I tagged him out here one day. And he's got the brown mama. He's got the brown mama over there in the middle there. But I tagged him out here in this field, but I don't know if it's been two months ago or not. But anyway, that's the same little calf there. He's growing. He's growing. Baby. Hi, babies. Hey, babies. How you doing, baby? 33. They're curious.
That's a white face there that is a longhorn. Yeah, here comes Mama home coming up the driveway. Beautiful day. Hey, brown baby. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Black cow coming up here to me now. Last week she had twins. Uh, about a week ago now. She had twins anyway. I come out here and looked around about two days later and and I guess she couldn't count because she only had one following along with her so I took the other one in the barn. I got to go in the barn and feed him twice a day now. She had a little bull and a little heifer. Usually when you get a heifer and a bull born at the same time, the, uh, the heifer, a lot of times, will be a, a, a free martin which means they cannot have a calf because it was born to a bull. But sometimes, I guess, if they say if they were born, if they're born in two different sacks, they can have a calf. But anyway, I used to have a lot of twin cows and dairy cows. I had twin cows a whole lot. But anyway, here in the beef cow business, I haven't had many. And uh, if I've had any here in the last year or so, I didn't know it. Come on here, y'all. Uh, come on, that spear's gonna poke you in the butt. Come on, old bull. Yeah, that brown calf out here, when I tagged him, video back there about a month ago, it was called, I think, the New Brown Baby. And there was a little calf there that I tagged that day. We're all growling back here in a different field now. This is our side of the fence. Here behind me. This is the neighbor's field here. They've done combine the straw and they got big square bales all over the field here. Anyway, this farm here is about, I don't know, about 400 acres or so of crop land in this farm. In this field that we're looking at, back here towards the big tower lines, this, that field is uh, either, it's either nine tenths of a mile or one mile to the other end. Anyway, that field belongs to one of the biggest agriculture people in the state of Virginia, known as Virginia Beef. They're big operators. Land all over the country and I know they've lost a lot of cow, a lot of land. Had land over Loudoun County. And, but anyway, here and there, they got quite a number of acres here where I'm at. Some of it they're renting, but anyway, the field we're looking at, they own. I'm going to get on the bush hogging again.
one time one of the other neighbors over here owned that farm and the other one here right here next to it but years and years ago back in the, I don't know 30s 40s I don't know when it was back in the early days but they had like 700 acres here all together but anyway something happened to them back in those days and for some reason they lost one farm so anyway this farm here has changed hands one two three three times it hadn't changed it's only changed hands three times in I guess my lifetime but they do a lot of corn beans and turf all over the country in this park This cow has a bag so low she's dragging the ground. So there's not much way that calf could ever suck. Right now, I think that old cow's over there standing in the mud hole with me. I think that's her. Pretty little calf there. I think it's a little heifer. But anyway, his mama, I guess it's his mama that's got a real low bag. It's so close to the ground. She's dragging the ground. Ain't no way he could, he could suck on her. Anyway, I think she's over here on the other side. Old cow coming over the other side. She's over there, standing over. It looks like stand like with her hind end down the mud hole. But anyway, I should have got rid of her quite a while ago. But she was never never up there where I could get her easy. See this old cow? Here she been standing in the mud hole. Her bag is dirty. Dirty as crap. Uh, hey, 367, I think the number is. She raised a calf last year, but the calf had to get down on his knees to suck him. But I should have gotten rid of her. Anyway, I'll get this push hog put away here in a little while. I'll go here and see if she even pays any attention to it. <laughs> 